guys, Christine here. I want to show you all my 25 spring essentials that I think are very important transitioning into spring. So I just want to share those with you. First, I will start off with shoes. The first thing I would suggest are the laced wedge, preferably the um, peak toe. I don't have any of those like that, so I'll just be wearing these. And it's better to, since it's spring, lighter colors, nudes, um, anything like that, pastels will uh, be perfect with any of the items that I'm going to show you. So, this is the first one. I got this one off just fab.com, which I'll leave a link below if you want to explore their site. The next thing is the sandal wedge. I've had these for many years. This is probably five or six years old, but um, you can get these anywhere. I got the basket weave type uh, wedge teal. The next shoe essential for the springtime, not necessarily this color, but a mid heel pointed pump. And the next type of shoe would be the low cut booties. And like they could probably come up above your ankle, you know, just a little bit above your ankle. And anything that classifies under that would be perfect for spring. Next would be the springtime lo loafer. Since I don't have any loafers, I do have moccasins, which these are great too. I got these from JCPenney. It has a little bow and a little fringe and stuff like that. It looks like this. And these, you can get these pretty much anywhere at any shoe store. So loafers moccasins either one would be perfect the last shoe spring essential would be the white sneaker I've had this one forever it's a new balance white little sneaker with a flat bottom these are perfect they go with a lot of really casual outfits they can go with dresses whatever you need be but these are definitely an essential okay next thing I'm gonna go to are shirts the first type of shirt that is definitely a must-have for spring would be the blue striped or any stripe but I prefer blue. Um, it could be tight fitted, really loose like this one, um, but anything striped would, is perfect for. It could be thick stripes, uh, really thin stripes like this, or really, really, really thin stripes. Doesn't matter. The next thing would be a shirt with florals on it, or any item with florals on it. Mine is a flowy one. This one's from Lauren Connor Collection, like last spring. You can also do like a medium size floral pattern. Or you could do like what I'm wearing, which is just like one flower, really big flower on it. Or you can do one that has multiple, multiple flowers on it. I prefer the bigger flowers, but, you know, it's all in your preference. The next shirt would be chambray shirt. Um, mine's really thin. Jean shirt, chambray, anything. Um, mine is just, looks like this. I got it from Forever 21. It's very loose, very airy, perfect for when it gets hot. Next thing would be a light color pullover cardigan um, without any buttons, just a pullover. This one's from the Lauren Conrad line from this past summer. And dress it up, dress it down, you know, something like that. But that's that. Next would be an oversized blazer. I only have a black oversized blazer, but, um, oh, that messed up with my camera. Sorry. Um... Preferably like a hot pink or something really bright and vibrant would be perfect for springtime. I mean, you could have patterns on it, whatever, just an oversized blazer. Next thing is going to be the nude leather jacket or faux leather jacket, whatever. Mine's like a motorcycle jacket because it has little things right there. But it looks like this. This one's from the Lauren Conrad Club as well. And um, I love it. I'm excited about wearing it this spring. And next would be a colorful trench coat. It has a really pretty floral uh, pattern on the inside. This is from the Lauren Conrad collection also. It has a little pretty bow. Next, the classic jean jacket is perfect for springtime. I mean, it, work, it works winter, fall, whatever, but definitely springtime is whenever it's huge. So any jean jacket, I got this one from JCPenney a couple months ago, and I love it. This next dress is going to fit two trends. Um, one is going to be the corset. Um, I've seen those getting more popular in the runway and also a pelpum type almost because um, right here you can see under the boob section um, it's wire and then it kind of goes down like a corset and has like a hard wire pieces on the side and then on the bottom it like really poofs out. You can't really tell here but it really poofs out and it's got flowers on it so Perfect for spring. The next dress is the midi maxi or like just mid uh, leg length. 
I got this one from All Navy, and, um, but it has a chevron print on it. And these dresses, um, to fit in with this, it would have to be like below your knee. And anything below your knee would be fine, or like mid calf. The next dress, then the last dress, the eye spot or eye peep dress, it has like little holes cut out of it. Turn inside out, you can see the holes like that, and it has a little undercover. I got this from Forever 21. Next category are going to be the skirts or pleated skirts, but I found this one from Lauren Conrad, and it's a mid-length skirt, and it is so pretty, so flowy. That really messes with my camera, but um, you get the idea. The next skirt, and I'm not sure the name of these skirts, but it's where it's really short in the front and like really long in the back, and so pretty. It has this mini skirt in the middle, or like underneath, looks like this can see it and then it has a sheer covering that goes all the way down and so pretty so flowy so girly and the color coral color is definitely a must for spring next item are going to be the pants and boyfriend styled acid washed cuffed jeans so many go on this but I got these from American Eagle but just roll up a pair of acid washed jeans and you'll be fine um this is exactly what I did here so Next, the last clothing um, apparel wear would be colorful skinny jeans. Now, it doesn't really matter. I know pastels are really big out there, but sometimes pastels aren't flattering on everybody. Usually the darker colors are. This pair of coral jeans. This one's from the Lauren Conrad collection as well. And I have a blue pair, which I got from JCPenney. Pretty much you can go into any store and find a pair of pastel or colored jeans anywhere. Okay, next category are going to be scarves. And for scarves, I would definitely, for springtime, recommend a really big square scarf. One that you can wrap around your hair, make a turban if you don't uh, know how to make one of those with a scarf. Just I'll have a link below to my video that I made recently um, how to with this exact scarf. And it's just a regular humongous scarf. I mean, you can tie it so many different ways, which a video is also coming up on how to tie square scarves. Next scarf would have to be a floral something. Some kind of floral scarf. It can be square. It could be thin and long. It can be a pashmina. It does not matter. Just something floral. And mine's from Forever 21. It has these cute little tassels on the bottom. Another thing for spring that I would like to bring in from winter would be the animal print. And you can so do animal print during spring. You just, I wouldn't go like animal print bodysuit or anything like that, but um, hair accessories, a purse, um, a shirt with a, a shirt or something, scarf, whatever. Next spring essential would have to be a weaved belt. Another type of belt would be braided belt. Um, these will definitely be a must and preferably a high-waisted belt. Next I'm going to talk about purses. For spring, for some reason there's a huge trend now for daytime clutches. During the day I have a lot I want to carry around so I can't do the whole daytime clutch thing but if you do I think this size would be perfect. Next item would be my purse that I've been carrying all month. It has this golden stud it has the golden studs and it's mint green, a pendant necklace. Something bigger on like a longer chain would be perfect. The next jewelry item would be another necklace. It is going to follow the multiple beaded strand trend and preferably a different color, like a brighter color, but mine is just plain white. The next item would be a cocktail ring. Any cocktail ring will do. I prefer turquoise. Uh, with gold hardware. And the last essential category would be nail polish. I am in love with the Essie's Fiji and so it's a very very light pink. Well that's everything out of my spring essentials for the year 2012 and I hope you enjoyed everything and by all means you can be a trendsetter and you don't have to follow the trends but these are just things that I know I love and that I'm going to wear for the spring so um, if you like black and you like to wear darker colors, then rock the darker colors. I think you will look beautiful no matter what you wear for the spring. But these are the trends that are out there right now, and I hope you all enjoy them. And don't forget to rate and comment below and subscribe up top. And if you want to see me style any of these out, I'll have them up on my blog at christinegxo.blogspot.com, which I'll have that down in the information bar as well. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!